Do you think you've mastered neurology? Let's put your knowledge to the test. A 57-year-old woman has a past medical history of HTN, DM, and a history of mild headaches. Headaches were well controlled until six weeks ago. Now, she has developed bifrontal throbbing headaches that are relieved with lying down and worsened, with sitting up to the point where she does not want to get up in the morning. No photo or phonophobia, nausea, or vomiting. Initially thought to be sinusitis and treated with antibiotics, but she had no improvement. A brain MRI is obtained. What is the treatment for this headache? Well, for an ENT, we really don't get a history of trauma or a traumatic CSF leak that would have given rise to leaking of the CSF from the head and neck area. So a referral to ENT is likely to be low yield in this patient, that we're getting close to the potential etiology. Starting acetazolamide won't help. Acetazolamide is a medicine used for high pressure headaches. And this patient has a description of low pressure headaches. Acetazolamide will likely worsen this patient's headache syndrome. What about antibiotics? We see smooth dural enhancement. That's a finding we can see in meningitis. Though imaging in meningitis tends to be focal. We don't tend to see this diffuse, smooth pachymeningitis um, with an infectious process as we do with this low pressure headache. And so here, this suggests a non-infectious etiology. In addition, the patient is afebrile and not otherwise ill, which would be additional clinical symptoms that would point us in the direction of an infection. And so in this case, we should evaluate for a spinal dural tear. This case indicates a patient who's suffering from a low pressure headache. The headache is relieved by sitting down and present upon rising up, and we see the typical MRI findings of a low pressure headache, diffuse dural thickening, and on other sequences, we may see other classic features that point us in this direction. Low pressure headaches can be caused by reduced CSF production, or a leak, where the spinal fluid is leaking out and there's less spinal fluid in the CSF space, and that contributes to this patient's symptoms. And the best treatment is to block that leak, and patients will have rapid recovery and resolution.